Diffuse reflection occurs when light reflects off a rough surface in multiple directions. Remember that reflection is when a wave reaches a boundary and is sent back rather than cross it or be absorbed by it. When describing reflection as diffuse, we usually mean waves of visible light in particular. Here's an example of a diffuse surface. It's very bumpy and uneven. Let's imagine we have these four rays of light directed at the surface. Importantly, these rays are all parallel before they reflect. However, after reflecting, the rays will be pointing in all different directions. This means the light is reflecting diffusely. Well, remember that according to the law of reflection, the angle between the incident ray and the normal to a surface will be the same as the angle between the reflected ray and the normal. Because of how uneven the surface is, we'll have a different normal at each point. This is why, despite the initial rays being parallel and ordered, we have these unpredictable reflections. But will reflections always be diffuse? Specular reflection occurs when parallel light rays reflect off a surface in the same direction. Again, when we use the term specular, we're usually referring to visible light waves. Here's an example of a specular surface, as indicated by these diagonal lines. Mirrors and polished metals are examples of specular surface. They're perfectly flat, unlike the diffuse surface. Let's again see what happens when we direct parallel rays at the surface. This time, they'll all reflect in the same direction, meaning specular reflection is occurring. This happens because since the surface is perfectly flat, the normal will be the same everywhere. So this is what allows the rays to stay parallel. So what happens when we look at a surface? Does it matter whether the surface is diffuse or specular? When looking at a specular surface, we can see a mirror image. So when we look into a mirror, an example of a specular surface, we will see an image of our face. Because of how the rays reflect, we believe that they originate from a point beyond the mirror. So we see an image of our face because the reflected rays have made us think that this is where our face is. On the other hand, when looking at a diffuse surface, we only see the surface itself. A brick wall is an example of a diffuse surface. Although the bricks are roughly cuboid in shape, there are lots of bumps and imperfections on their surface. This causes light to reflect off it in all directions. This reflection means an image can't form from the reflected rays. These rays instead tell us information about this surface, so we only see the bricks. This is different from the mirror, where the reflected rays show us images instead of the mirror itself. For your exam, you should understand the differences between diffuse and specular reflection and be able to identify which is being demonstrated in a given example. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.